okay, I have a, I got a, ta a tablet on Temu. It specs are six gigabytes of RAM, fantastic. Snapdragon 888 processor, very uh, appealing. And 128 gigabytes of internal storage. And while not great, well, it's enough to download some games. In particular, I want to run Genshin Impact. I downloaded the app and it took three or four gigabytes of data. Um, but when I launched Genshin Impact, it needs to pull down 29.4 gigabytes of data. And I thought, okay, well, no big deal. I've got 128. I'm not going to be doing much with this tablet, but Genshin Impact. Well, it's its Wi-Fi is horrible. It only supports a 2.4 gigahertz frequency, and it does it poorly so that it took over two hours before it aired out on downloading that 29 gigabytes of data. I'd go into storage and look at it and say, well, I've got 90, 100 gigabytes of data free. Why can't it pull its information down? I thought it was something else was a problem. Maybe a problem in the way it downloaded the Genshin Impact. Maybe the app was crashing and, or something like that. Well, it wasn't until I inserted a micro SD card, because this one, this tablet supports that, a Kodak 128 gigabytes V30, so it supports 4K writing. Uh, and I moved the app over onto that card. I launched Genshin Impact, and it pulled down its 29 gigabytes of data. And that's when I realized, okay, this tablet, although it declares 128 gigabytes of storage, it has only 30 so if you have a tablet like that, for, like from Temu, or its insidious fraternal twin, uh, Alibaba, and you want to keep the tablet for some reason, you're going to need to pop in uh, a micro SD card, at least 64 gigabytes in size, and then you'll be able to run Genshin Impact that way. But if you want to see how well these uh, tablets can perform, Stick around and I'll show you that momentarily. So now I'm actually going to launch the game because it is should be playable now. But now that everything is done, it seems like it's moving pretty fast. I do want to get into settings because if you look at uh, the way the graphics are, um, it has the look and feel of like it's just a teeny bit faster than stop motion. Let's see here. Let's go to the settings widget. And it's already on lowest graphics quality. I'm going to go with um, compatibility mode. And I will have to restart. Okay, let's tap to begin. Okay, do I have to play this way? Oh my word, I guess. With the touch screen, I really don't like playing like this, but it is playable and then tap that to attack which is the interact button It is reporting uh, Snapdragon 888. Now, I don't know what this MediaTek is. Is that... Is, <laughs> is that get punked? <laughs> it's supposed to be Qualcomm. Um, not Snap... Not MediaTek. 
maybe that's it. That's where the um, uh, that's where they get you. Uh, so maybe that's that's where uh, the gotcha is. It's not a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. It's not even a Snapdragon. It's called Snapdragon 888. Uh, there's lots of gimmickry here. 